nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello everyone. Welcome once again to another traditional wacky and weird holiday video. And this year, we are back again with our Valentine's Day Mad Libs. Ooh. Yay! But we also thought we would take this video as an opportunity to showcase one of Ruth's wonderful new projects. <laughs> Would you like to say a few words? I'm so done with this project. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll give a little twirl around. So, this is the uh, final product. We'll, we'll post like, or we'll put um, a full length right here. Basically, I just went to a bunch of fabric stores and got all the pinkiest pink fabrics there ever was and just kind of morphed them all together. <laughs> I had a pink dress board and I had different elements that I was just gonna mush all together. Yeah, it took many, 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 many hours. And the cool part is, is when I make dresses and costumes, I don't use any machinery. I sew by hand, all by hand. So an accomplishment in itself, but yes, this is <laughs> my pink dress. And I decided to be completely opposite of her color palette. But we also have our little Valentine's Day bat eraser and Halloween pen. And we have for our special Valentine's treats, some nice Rose Prophecy brand. We just like the labels for this. And some wonderful sweetheart sprinkle cookies. <laughs> yeah, after all of this, I'm just ready to <laughs> dig into those. Yes. We'd like to go first as far as actually doing the math. You can go first. <laughs> okay. With answering or... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I will do answers first. All right, so I'll make it. Yep. I couldn't really find any hard copy Valentine's Mad Libs books, at least at our Barnes & Noble. So we just got the paper. We're still hoping one day that the Mad Lib app will actually work if you're watching developers. Okay. <laughs> I need a plural noun. Tombstones. I know where this is going. <laughs> Person in room female. Group. <laughs> noun. Darkness. Verb past tense. Wept. A place. <laughs> a dungeon. I was just a graveyard, but that works too. Adjective. Morbid. I said just from morbid. <laughs> That's what kind of a week I'm having, all right? Person in room, female. Bride of Frankenstein. Oh my. All right, Bride of Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Adjective. Adorable. Adjective. A gruesome. Person in room, male. Edgar Allan Poe. Noun. Funny. Noun. Fluff. Same noun. Alrighty. <laughs> this first one is called Truth or Dare. Good. At my BFF's last party, my tombstones and I played Truth or Dare. First, I chose Truth, and Ruth asked me what my most embarrassing darkness was. <laughs> <laughs> I had to admit, it was at summer camp when I wept in a dungeon. <laughs> What a great summer camp. <laughs> I know it must sound totally morbid to everyone else, but I was embarrassed all over again. So the next time I chose Dare instead. My friend, the Bride of Frankenstein, dared me to go into her adorable brother's room, <laughs> sing, I'm a gruesome teapot, <laughs> and tell him I had a crush on Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> And I did it! <laughs> Strangely enough, her bunny was so embarrassed, he ran out of the room. From now on, in truth or dare, it's the fluff. <laughs> and nothing but the fluff for me. Very nice. I think that had a little everything. Good That's job. Good. Thank you. <laughs> this has been smelling so amazing. I don't know what's out of the cookies. <laughs> yeah. Cheers and happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> It's mm. actually pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Give me those cookies. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> now, you <earned> them. <laughs> yeah. But now I feel like I'm at a tea party. Yeah. <laughs> a wine party. <laughs> and they've been sitting on, on the table for a couple days. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I must have it now. I don't know what these have to do with pink, but we'll go with it. I need an adjective. Far. A silly word. Doodle. Gush of bubba. <laughs> Bubble. Bubble. A bink doodle? Bing doodle, yeah. Animal. Komodo dragon. Plural noun. <laughs> Trapeze. 
Number. 52. <laughs> Noun. Couscous. Adjective. <laughs> Bouncy. <laughs> Verb. Uh, excuse me. Belched. Part of the body. Plural. Foots. <laughs> Foots. <laughs> Plural noun. <laughs> Boom boxes. <laughs> Boom boxes. <laughs> oh no. Animal. Snail. Silly word. Oh no. <laughs> You're the expert on these. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I can spell that one. <laughs> what are we... Did you use that in a sentence? <laughs> <laughs> What's in this wine? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so tired. Oh no. <laughs> flutter, what are we doing? Flurm? No, no, flutter, no, what did I say? Flurm Butter McDoingus. Flutter, Flutter Butter McDoingus. Flutter Butter McDoingus. Oh man, what is happening? <laughs> Adjective. Hysterical. <laughs> Noun. Tear. <laughs> Part of the body, plural. Iris. Sis. <laughs> Iri. <laughs> Noun. Sleepy time. Soon. <laughs> you know, I debated whether we should do this one as a live stream. <laughs> what have I been saying? Alright, well, here we go. This one is titled Mademoiselle Floofy. <laughs> yep, she's floofy, alright. I have the most far pet ever Mademoiselle Floofy von <laughs> Gusha you... Bubble of Bingo Doodle. <laughs> you said, did you throw it? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you flung Mademoiselle Fluffy Von Gush Your Bubble Wall Bing a Doodle. <laughs> She's a beautiful Komodo dragon <laughs> with long floppy trapezes. <laughs> <laughs> I got Mademoiselle Fluffy when she was 52 months old. She was so tiny. I worked hard training her, and now she is completely couscous broken. <laughs> and knows a lot of highly imaginative, bouncy tricks. She can sit and belch. She knows how to dance on her back foots. <laughs> Mademoiselle Floopy loves to eat boom boxes, and she'll do anything to get some. <laughs> her best friend, a snail named Marilyn Montfort Butter McDoingus, Lives across the street, and I take them both to the hysterical part to play when it's nice outside. And at night, when I read a tear in bed, Mademoiselle Floofy curls up on my irises. Oh wow! And falls fast asleep. She's the best sleepy time a girl could ever want. Aww, <laughs> sleepy time. All that was worth oh, it. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we're gonna top that one yet. That's the hardest I've ever came up with a word. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I need a plural noun. Whoop, spoilers. Combat boots. Adjective. Sunny. Plural noun. Nipple piercings. Dude, just so you know, this is in quotes. Adjective. Holy. <laughs> what kind? <laughs> like a... Oh. Noun. Crypt. Uh, adjective. Leathery. Noun. Uh, girdle. The place. A uh, hot topic. A verb. A stab. <laughs> adjective. Decayed. Plural noun. Conversation hearts. Noun. Flab. A <laughs> <The> place. <laughs> the bathroom at a Fall Out Boy concert. <laughs> verb. Trip. Okay, so this one is called Sing It Sisters. Oh no. If one of your combat boots has a karaoke birthday party, do you know what sunny songs you would sing? You should always be prepared. Maybe the classic nipple piercing just <laughs> want to have fun. <laughs> Is your 
style. Or what about born to be holy? <laughs> the two go together, you know? <laughs> oh no, but this one's even better. That, there's also the even ever popular living on a crypt. <laughs> <laughs> See, that would make more sense. <laughs> but you'll have to be able to hit some pretty leathery notes for that one. If you want to go with something newer, both You Belong With Girdle <laughs> and Party in the Hot Topic are really fun to sing. And if you like to dance while you're singing, Twist It and Stab <laughs> is a decayed choice. <laughs> if you want a surefire hit, Single Conversation Hearts, Put a flab on it. <laughs> this is so gross. Being too money conversation hurts. But my favorite karaoke song will always be Sweet Home the Bathroom at Fall Out Boy Concert. <laughs> Everyone knows the words will trip along. <laughs> oh man. In your bathroom humor. I did a good one, but I don't think for, for this for this episode. For this episode. <laughs> Let us know if you want us to do a podcast. Yeah, that would be actually really fun. Our catchphrases, I don't even know what to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> that or next time. <laughs> I need a plural noun. Butterfingers. <laughs> Adjective. Squirty. Plural noun. Quirties. I guess it works. A type of liquid. Splurdy. No, um, <laughs> wet. Alright, I guess, I guess that counts. A liquid is generally wet. Adjective. <laughs> Gotta go with bulbous. Oh jeez. Oh no. I gotta stop reading what these are actually saying. Oh no. Part of the body plural. Adam Devil. Appel. Plural noun. Hair cream. Plural noun. Sticky notes. Adjective. Stuck. A place. What for? <laughs> no, that's gonna happen. No, you said it. You said it. This is now a PG 13 video. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Adjective. Cold. Color. Vermilion. Ooh, color. Mac and cheese. <laughs> I get, you know, if, if, if Crayola was in charge of making colors, mac and cheese would definitely be on a cream. I think it is on a grin. Probably. And, and Crayola is in charge of making colors, so we're kidding. Plural noun. Shades. Shades. <laughs> shades? Yes. Shades. Shades. Adjective. I'm confused. Number. <laughs> Two. Well, folks, this one is titled Spa Day. Once a month, my Butterfingers and I go to the Squirty Salon and have a spa day. We sit in massaging Quirties and soak our feet in tubs of wet to relax. Then bulbous masseuses <laughs> go to work needing our Adam's apples. Ow! It's so soothing. You feel all of your hair creams melting away. <laughs> Next. They put masks made of sticky notes on our faces. <laughs> Your face is a to-do list. <laughs> I was like, I did it, I did that, I did that. <laughs> They're supposed to make your skin look soft, look soft and more stuck. I think I mean. <laughs> After that, we had... After that, After that, we head to the butthole to get manicures and pedicures. They cut and file our nails, then paint them in cold polishes like vermilion or mac and cheese. Finally, we get our shades cut and styled like the most confused celebrities. <laughs> and we all feel like two dollars. <laughs> Sounds like it. What a spa day. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> well, yeah, that's it right there. <laughs> okay. Thank you to do this one, but I'll do it. Alright, I need a pencil. <laughs> Please. And now. Uh, oh man. 
man. A man? <laughs> oh, I, I need a man! Poop stain. <laughs> Adjective. Rigid. Part of the body, plural. Boobins. <laughs> Verb. Lick. Plural noun. Daisies. Plural noun. Wraiths. Plural noun. Tiaras. Adjective. Distraught. Number. Seven trillion and eight. Adjective. Swollen. Noun. Apocalypse. Adjective. Fragrant. Adjective. Mysterious. Noun. Traffic cone. Noun. Stand up comedian. Alrighty! Oh, this one's called Pink Tastic! <laughs> My absolute favorite poop stain in the whole rigid world is pink. <laughs> Everything I wear is pink. From my head down to my boobins. <laughs> I eat, sleep, and lick pink. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I redecorated my room with pink wallpaper, pink carpeting, and pink daisies. I cover all my school wraths in pink paper, wraiths, sorry, wraiths, <laughs> that too, in wreaths. Wraths, wraiths, wreaths. <laughs> in pink paper and use only pink tiaras to write my homework. <laughs> I even got permission from the distraught principal to paint my locker pink. <laughs> I can't wait until I turn seven trillion and eight years old. <laughs> to get my swollen license <laughs> because I've been saving up my money to buy a hot pink convertible apocalypse. <laughs> Which actually sounds an act like an actual car. <laughs> yeah, coming soon from a uh, Hyundai. They Not sponsor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you do, can I have it? Yeah, please. So us all your apocalypses. It will be so fragrant because one day I'll have a mysterious pink house too. Ooh. <laughs> then there will be no doubt in anyone's traffic cone that pink is my favorite color and the whole wide stand-up comedian. <laughs> I'm picking this one because I think it's appropriate for this video. Adjective. Tasty. Adjective. <laughs> you gotta say it. If you laugh, you gotta say it. That's the rule. <laughs> Corn dog. That's literally the first thing that popped into my head. All right, corn doggy. <laughs> okay, that works too. That's definitely an adjective. Uh, speaking of corn dogs, part of the body. Weenus. Floral noun. <laughs> that was my adjective. Why didn't I just switch them? Hell yeah. <laughs> Coin purse. Adjective. Rubbly. <laughs> Rubbalicious. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm changing to rubbalicious. Adjective. Hurt. Part of the body. Pit. Noun. Barney Rubble. <laughs> Speaking of rubble, it's just... Yeah. Adjective. Painted? <laughs> wow, I'm having trouble with adjectives today. Noun. Boat. Adjective. Crappy. <laughs> Plural noun. Banana. <laughs> And last but not least, part of the body plural. Tonsil. Ooh. You have glitter in your hair. I'm not surprised. There's like glitter on every square inch of your house at this point. <laughs> For our final Mad Lib of 2024 Valentine's Day episode edition of Wacky and Weird, we have Totally Pink Makeover. <laughs> Are your clothes tasty and old fashioned? Do you need a new corn doggy look? It's time for a totally pink makeover. You'll sparkle from your head to your weenus. Number one, clothes. Make sure to wear coin purses <laughs> that are either sparkly or pink. They should make you confident and rubblicious. Number two, makeup. The more hurt and shimmery, the better. <laughs> I mean, paint is beauty, right? <laughs> Glittery eyeshadow and shiny pit gloss. Yeah! <laughs> It'll make you twinkle like the Barney Rubble you are. <laughs> Number three, hair. A painted haircut is crucial to a good makeover. Try to change it up. If you've been wearing your boat long lately, <laughs> try a shorter cut. If it's all one length, bangs can make you look crappy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the good advice I need. <laughs> Number four, accessories. Find the right purses, Jewelry and bananas to match your new look. 
<laughs> Get you those pink bananas. <laughs> wow! The new you should be turning tonsils left and right. Oh, yowie. <laughs> Oh no. Oh my gosh, these are great. Yeah, I think we outdid ourselves on this one. You you far and away stepped it up for uh, for our Valentine's Day video here. So there you have it folks. Another year, another wacky and weird Valentine's video with Mad Libs once again. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to check out all our past Mad Libs videos. We got ones from Valentine's Day, we got ones from birthdays, we got ones from Halloween. We got all kinds of Mad Libs videos. And if you didn't enjoy it, then go watch them anyway. Uh, maybe you'll get a laugh either way. Make sure to check out all of our other non-Mad Libs videos, because we got a bunch of those too, believe it or not. We got unboxing videos where we take things out of boxes when you guys watch us do that. We got, um, we got hair videos where uh, especially Ruth, she uses things that aren't like wash out hair color like we both got on right now. Uh, those are really cool. <laughs> we got really silly games. If this wasn't silly enough for you, maybe you should go check out our Anchor Play game videos where we like play these really stupid games <laughs> that break and stuff. <laughs> this is just too silly. I can't help it. Uh, yes, so make sure to check out all our other videos. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because if if you don't, you're gonna miss all this exciting content we got lined up for you. Yeah, we got more videos coming your way. Uh, lots of fun stuff this year. We're only in February and we've already done, what, like three videos? We've done some videos this year already. Um, Go watch them and tell us Yeah, them. tell us how many videos we've <laughs> done. <laughs> We're wacky and weird, if you couldn't tell already. Is there anything you would like to add to this very special video? <laughs> no, I'm not adding any more things on this thing. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> and with that, folks, we hope you have a most fantastic rest of your day. Have a happy Valentine's Day, however you celebrate or don't celebrate. Yes, and make sure to stay tuned for what's next.